Today we are going to start with rectum and anal canal. Rectum and anal canal are the distal portion of the GIT. Uh, anal canal is the most distal portion. Rectum is continuation of sigmoid colon. It starts at the end of sigmoid colon and ends with the anal canal at anal and rectal junction. The cardinal feature of large intestine that are circulation, haustration and tinea coli are absent, are absent in the rectum. Rectum is situated in the posterior part of lesser pelvis. Lesser pelvis, lesser pelvis is a space that is located between the pelvic inlet and outlet, also known as true pelvis. Rectum begins as a continuation of sigmoid colon. It is situated at the level of lower three sacral vertebra and coccyx and ends by joining anus at the anorectal junction. Anus is situated at the level of S3, 4, 5 and coccyx and ends by forming anus at anorectal junction. It is 12.5 cm long, uh, about 5 inches and uh, its dilated part lower is called as ampulla. Rectum constitute two anteroposterior curves that are sacral flexure and perineal flexure. Sacral flexure is due to the convexity of sacrum and the uh, perineal flexure is due to the anorectal junction. And when we view it from side, it has three flexure, two right flexure and one left flexure, upper right and lower right and middle left flexure. This is the upper right flexure, this is the lower right flexure and this is the middle left one flexure. To describe the peritoneal relation of rectum, rectum in the upper part is covered anteriorly and by the sides with the peritoneum. In the middle part, it is covered only anteriorly and in the lower part, it is devoid of perito peritoneum. The visceral relation of the rectum in males anteriorly are, this is rectum, the anterior relation of rectum in males are recto pouch and fascia of the villar, prostate, seminal vesicle and urethra entering the uh, bladder, seminal vesicle and ureters entering the bladder at the way, uh, posterior side, upper two-third contain recto pouch with the coils of intestine and sigmoid colon, lower one-third containing bladder and terminal part of ureters seminal vesicle, ductus, diaphragmatic sperm duct and the prostate as seen in the figure. Female, the anterior part of rectum is related with the recto-uterine pouch containing coils of intestine and sigmoid colon. Lower one third contain parts of vagina. This is rectum in females that is uh, related anteriorly with the recto-uterine pouch or pouch of Douglas and posterior surface of the vagina and fascia of the known villars. Posteriorly, it is related to three vertebras, sacral vertebras, coccyx, anococcygeal ligament along with median sacral artery and superior, superior, middle and lateral rectal arteries also with the piriformis, coccygeus and levator ni, piriformis, coccygeus, levator ni with the sympathetic chain and anterior primary remi of F2, 3, and 3, 4 and 5 with the pelvic splanchnic nerve and lymph nodes. Posteriorly, rectum is related to lower three vertebras, sacral vertebras and the coccyx, sympathetic chain, median sacral artery and lateral sacral artery with the anterior primary remi or ventral primary remi of S3, S234, lymph nodes, piriformis, coccygeus, and levator NR. The anterior surface of rectum show three mucosal, transverse mucosal fold. These are <coughs> permanent fold or a Houston walls. Houston walls. The middle one is the most constant one. It is 7.5 cm above the anus. And the third one is most inconstant. Function of rectum. The fecal material is collected in the rectum and the stretch to the rectum wall gives the signal for the defecation. Arterial supply is superior rectal artery, middle rectal artery and inferior rectal artery. Superior rectal artery is the chief branch and it is a branch of inferior mesenteric artery while the superior rectal artery is the branch of inferior mesenteric artery supplying the rectum. Middle rectal artery is the branch of internal iliac artery, anterior division of internal iliac artery and the inferior rectal is the branch of internal pudendal which is the branch of internal iliac artery. These all make the loop around the rectum looping and estomosis and supply rectum. Venous drainage is the same, superior, middle and inferior rectal vein and drains in the same vein, superior rectal in the inferior mesenteric vein, middle rectal in the uh, iliac vein and the inferior rectal in the internal parental vein. Lymph node in the upper part is inferior mesenteric and the, in the lower part is superficial inguinal or left internal iliac nodes. Now supply is parasympathetic S234 and sympathetic L1, L2. Spores of rectum. Levator and eye which is the muscles uh, in the floor of the pelvis spores the rectum. Also the fascia of well dyer which uh, surrounds the lower part of the rectal ampulla. Rectal ampulla is the dilated portion of the rectum and lateral ligaments of rectum. Also the rectovesical fascia or fascia of the known villar that is situated anteriorly to the rectum also support the rectum. The pelvic peritoneum also supply and the perineal body uh, also provide the spores with its muscle. By the PR examination or digital per rectum examination uh, known as PR examination, we can identify following structures. In males, we can identify the posterior surface of prostate seminal vesicle, vas deferens. In female, we can determine perineal body, cervix uh, and the part of fetus present uh, during the delivery, passing during the delivery. And in both sexes, we can de de determine anorectal ring, coccyx, sacrum, ischioanal fossa, ischial spines. In patient, complete prolapse of rectum is also known as procedentia. 
this is due uh, this causes the prolapse of rectum wall and it passes out through the anus this is due to the laxity of pelvic floor pelvic floor is providing support to the rectum if it is flaccid then the rectum support will be damaged and it will pass through the anus outside and the ext extensively deep rectovesical or recto uterine pouches also causes the push to the rectum and it pulls outward through the anus and inadequate fixation of rectum on the presacral bed 